you out there today. Uh, just talk about it and uh, how, how you think things went for the number five team this this weekend. Yeah, it was uh, you know really encouraging and uh, the the performance of the team all weekend long. Um, you know, practice we didn't get all of our practice in, but we got a lot of it in. Um, you know, and and then qualifying didn't get that, but I felt like we would have been great there too. So it was it was a strong weekend for our team. Uh, communication side with Keith and the engineers and uh, just kind of what we worked on and the direction we went was really solid all weekend, uh, similar to Bristol. We just finished it off today. So it was, you know, we had a strong car, uh, Mountain Dew Chevrolet, and uh, we had great restart there at the end to get uh, a couple spots and, you know, get a top five. So that was that was good. It's We, we don't haven't had a lot of these in the last year, two years. So, uh, you know, it was nice to run up front, nice to be competitive, battle with uh, the Gibbs cars a little bit, Jimmy a lot, uh, Kevin some. You know, I could always see those guys, so it was it was nice to see the the fastest cars, uh, you know, in the in the in the particular race. Questions for Casey Kane, if you have one, we've got two on our left side. We'll start with uh, Tim, and then go to Hank. Um, Nick Vandell, Progress Index. Uh, Casey, given how tough it looked to be uh, racing out there today, uh, with uh, just cars slipping and sliding really loose, uh, how rewarding and motivating it is, is it to know that you were able to get a top five finish on a tough day like today? Yeah, really. Uh, you know, b both of those. Um, you know, I got into the wall a little bit early. I'd caught, I think it was, uh, who was it? Oh, Logano, and I followed him real close behind him uh, around the top of three and four, and we were getting pretty close to the wall, and then. I just missed a little bit and slid, hit the wall, and I thought I had wrecked my car pretty good, you know, but it, it rubbed it, bent the fenders in some, and it was still really sharp uh, the next corner and the corner after that. So I, I knew we were okay at that point, and, um, you know, we just stayed after it all day. We had uh, we had a little bit of struggles early in the run, uh, the first 10 laps, uh, and, and at the end of the race here, we, we didn't have that struggle at all. I thought that was our best the best we've taken off all day on a you know a 40 lap kind of dash there at the end and we needed that so it was it was good that the adjustments were great um you know it was the pit stops on pit road it, i was either even or gaining spots all race long so my my pit team is is unreal right now for sure p what was your vantage point of the last lap and given kyle's reputation as a great blocker were you surprised to see carl get past him so I was, uh, I didn't, didn't even see it. And I had heard that, uh, I'd heard they had a, a good battle. I knew, I knew they were up there and I, I knew where they were. I just wasn't watching them at the end. I was kind of, my car was getting a little loose. So I was just really worried, make sure I came across the line and didn't screw anything up after a, a strong, you know, 399 laps. I didn't want to mess it up. So I didn't watch. I wish I would have. Sounded like a great battle. Right across. Go ahead. Casey, Corey Smith with North State Journal. Uh, what was different about today that maybe hasn't been there uh, over the last several races for you this season? Well, I would say, you know, it's, it kind of starts at the beginning of the weekend. Uh, it starts early in the week uh, as kind of our preparation and what, we've, what we're looking at to do to the car. And, and it just starts with the attitudes of everybody, from myself to the team and how we all appreciate each other and work together and, you know, know that uh, each particular person's there for a reason and are really good at what, what each one of us do. So I, I think it's more just being together, being a group, uh, a solid team. And as we do that, we've we've get, been getting better each week. And that, to me, that started three, four weeks ago. And uh, each week, it seems to you know get better from from the from the previous week. So we're going to keep heading in that direction. I know that, and hopefully, the performance stays the same. Right next door. Go ahead, please. If we could get him a mic. Raise your hand. Oh, Zach Tan's ready for French start, Chuck. Can you talk about the advantages that, that you found on using the out, out, on the outside lane instead of the inside lane? A lot of people are kind of right up by the wall or right down yeah. by the apron. What were the advantages of using the outside? Yeah, you know, usually the night races here, you run right on that white line, and it's just a little bit of extra grip there. Even though the tires are worn out, you run right on the line, and it grips up, and that's kind of the spot you need to be but today you could find grip across the entire track use some of the bumps to get the car to load and unload and turn and then up by the wall it was more of just a cleaner area you know the higher you went the track was a little bit cleaner a little less rubber which created a little bit of turn so when you have a tire and a racetrack that gives you that those capabilities 
Uh, it makes for an exciting, fun, you know, great race. And I enjoyed every bit of it today. I, I enjoyed this car. The package we have this year is is the best it's been in a long, long time. And uh, the track today was was awesome. Richmond, this was uh, one one of my better race tracks today. So you know, I, I feel good about that. Let's go upstairs to Chris Knight. Go ahead. Chris Knight, catchfence.com. Casey, uh, last two, uh, second top 10 finish in three weeks. But last week at Bristol, you also had a fast car. And you've said over the radio the last couple of weeks the communication is getting better and better. Have you guys been able to pinpoint where the communication is getting better and what's your outlook moving forward to Talladega, Kansas, and Dover? Well, I think there's there's a lot of things that, you know, create good communication. It's not just talking face to face you know I, I think a lot of things go into that and it starts it starts you know weeks ago um and and i think the closer you get as a group the closer you get uh with your crew chief with your engineers with the the guys on pit road uh the car chief the guys building the race cars i mean that's all of that is communication to me and all that is uh you know kind of makes the whole race on sunday better when when you are better in those areas and so that's basically all we've been doing is just feel like uh i feel like i want every guy on my team you know i want them to be on my team and i want i think that they're the best at what they do and that we can really do a lot together and i feel like they're starting to really feel the same way about me and know that i'm the driver that they want and you know that that we can do a lot together as a team so i just think it's when you have each other's backs and when you're you work together as a team um you know, you, you keep getting better, and that's where we've been. That's what we've been kind of excelling at. Mr. H gives us great race cars. Uh, he has for a long time, and we haven't performed near of what we should have in a lot of those weekends. So uh, it's not the car. It's a lot of other things, and that all comes with, you know, being being a strong team. Let's go to Holly Kane and then to Barry. Holly Kane, NASCAR.com. What I wanted to ask you was kind of along those lines, but do you feel like you guys have turned a corner because you know there is a little there's some consistency now on getting these finishes if you could just kind of talk about that right I think there's you know kind of consistency on the whole weekend too where there's more more times I look at the scoring pile on I'm at the top half rather than the bottom half, uh, whether it's any one of the practices qualifying um, race you know all those things so yeah, I think it's you know it's just kind of a like I said, it's it's a slow process, really. I mean, we were so far gone there for a little while that it takes time to start getting back to where we need to be, and uh, we're heading that direction now, so it's really nice. Any more questions for Casey Kane? <coughs> right here to the left, Jim Utter. Jim Utter, motorsport.com. I'm sure nobody has been more frustrated about your performance than you have, but early in the season, did you feel... Uh, you had a lot of optimism going into the year. Did it kind of surprise you the way the season started? And do you feel like it's, do you feel a little bit different about how things are now? Well, that's the I think, good thing about sports in general and, and definitely racing. You have two, three months off. And during those months off, you, you know, prepare and, and think you're the best driver and think your team's the best. And you go into each season saying, I'm excited for this year and I'm excited because, you know, we, we're going to be good and, and it's going to be a strong year. And then we started and we weren't. Um, so, yeah, so, it, you know, we weren't and we were. There was, there was some bright spots at times, but not nearly what we wanted. So, yeah, I was a little surprised there. And I knew at that point we really need to go to work um, or I need to find something different to do because it was getting discouraging as can be. So, yeah, it was, uh, it's been nice to have three solid weekends and, you know, we'll keep building from here. Well, Casey, we hope you certainly do that, and good luck next week at Talladega. All right. Thank you, guys.